Microplastics. They are ubiquitous in our environment. They are in our fruits, they are in our vegetables, they are in our meat, they are in our poultry, and they are in our fish. Is it a problem? Yes. And now we have some of the first definitive evidence that it's a problem based on this paper out of Italy, which showed that you have plaques that can develop microplastics in them, which impact the course of their disease. So today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that study. I'm going to tell you what you can do to decrease microplastics and some simple things that you can do in your kitchen to decrease it in your water, which is where a lot of it comes from. Let's start with this study. This study looked at carotid end artery. So what's that? Carotid arteries are the arteries here going to your brain. Here's a little diagram of what the carotid arteries do. And sometimes they develop plaque in them and we have to go in, open up the carotid artery as you see here and pull out a plaque. Now that's a cartoon image. You wanna see what a plaque looks like? That's what a plaque looks like. It's kind of ugly, isn't it? That is atherosclerotic disease, which is subintimal below the first layer of the, of the artery, disease that contains cholesterol. You can decrease your risk of that by having getting your low density lipoprotein or your ApoB down as low as you can, which is why we have a number of drugs for it, statins, PCSK9 inhibitors, etc. The problem is this. When this group looked at people who had the endarterectomies done, which means they had plaque disease, and they found microparticles of plastic in them, even polyvinyl chloride, the most common type that we have, they found that those that had high incidences, high amounts in the plaques, had high issues with strokes and heart disease when they followed them over three years. Those who didn't had almost a 10 times less risk of getting strokes and heart disease. So what does that mean? That means we have our first potential observational study that shows that microplastics can severely impact your arteries and what goes on in your body. So what can you do about it? Well, first of all, you got to get rid of the food containers that have a lot of plastics in them. I know people have said this before, but this is now becoming more real. This is an environmental hazard that you can have in your own kitchen. Let me tell you some of the things I'm doing in my kitchen. You see this? This is a water bottle, obviously well used. It's gone. Instead, I have other water bottles like this. Now, even though it has a plastic lid, this is not a plastic water bottle, the water contained in it. I have to accept some problems. This, many of you have seen me do on my lives. I drink this all the time. This is black tea, purely. This is a plastic bottle. I'm no longer subscribed to the service. I'm no longer drinking this. It's out. Instead, there was another study that showed how you can reduce microplastics in your kitchen. If you don't have filters like an RO system and you have hard water, simply boiling the water means that you have a less problem with microplastics. So now, instead of getting my tea with microplastics like this, I have my tea like this, the old fashioned way, where the tea is made in here without, without microplastics and able to drink it this way. And if I want it cold, I can put it in the refrigerator and I have my cold iced tea for the day. It's a simple thing that I'm doing to reduce microplastics in my household, as well as getting rid of all of those silly little container things for leftovers. And I'm using glass, thing, glass coverings and glass containers instead. You can get rid of microplastics. Maybe a small thing that you can do, but it's one of the things you can control in your environment and consider this. If you can, even if you have heart disease, even if you have atherosclerotic plaque, reducing the microplastics risk is something that's partially under your control. We used to enjoy tea in England because years ago, tea was used and they said oh, people don't seem to get cholera from tea because of the boiled water. Now, this very same beverage may be helping us get rid of microplastics. Cheers.